What's up, everyone? Uh, I just wanted to jump on here and do a quick live stream. And I want to talk about something that a lot of people keep asking me in private. Um, and I think that it's an important question. It's something that a lot of people want an answer to. When I graduated Bible college, uh, it seemed like there were opportunities for me. There were chances to preach and people were inviting me and God was helping me. God was giving me some sort of favor in the eyes of man. And by God's grace, he's, uh, he's helped me to grow this influence here on social media. Um, but there are people who have come to me and have asked me, how do you do it? Like, how do you get opportunities? How do you find ways to preach? Um, how do you get pastors to talk to you? How do you get pastors to invite you? Above any strategy, it's all simply by grace. It's by the grace of God that those things happen. But um, I think that there are things that we can do that would help us to open the doors uh, and to see opportunities in our life to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm not going to act like I'm something that I'm not. I don't have all the answers. I haven't been in ministry for 30 years, but there are certain things that I've observed over the past few years that I think would help people that are called to the ministry. Um, and when people ask me, how does it happen? How does it work? How do you get opportunities to preach? Because people feel called, but they feel like there's no opportunity for them. They feel like they're wasting their time or they're forgotten about or they miss their opportunity. They miss their chance. Um, I don't think that they miss their chance. But for me, I think that the most important thing that we can do if we're called to preach the gospel is to preach the gospel. If you're called to preach the gospel, then preach the gospel. That's the simplest thing that I could tell anybody. Um, it, it's not some impossible task. People act like there's no zero, absolutely no way for them to preach the gospel. Almost everybody has a thousand dollar cell phone in their hand. Uh, and just like I'm doing right now, anybody in America, anybody in the world can pop on a live stream and start preaching the gospel to people that they can never see face to face. So if somebody's called to preach the gospel, then preach the gospel. Uh, and some people are hindered by the fact that people will watch them. People will judge them. They're, they're worried about numbers. They're worried about who's going to watch me uh, preach, who's going to like my videos, who's going to... None of that stuff matters. At the end of the day, none of that stuff matters. It doesn't matter who watches these videos. It doesn't matter who likes your videos. It doesn't matter what people say behind closed doors. It doesn't matter if people ridicule you or criticize you or mock you. Um, because the people that are mocking you and the people that are ridicule you and criticizing you behind closed doors, those people aren't helping you. Those people aren't opening doors for you. Those people don't care whether or not you preach the gospel. And if somebody gets offended over you preaching the gospel and they call themselves a Christian and they get offended of, about you preaching the gospel online or you putting out videos and they want to laugh and mock you, mock you for doing it and say, look at this guy, look at this girl trying to get online and post videos about Jesus. And they call themselves a Christian. I don't think that you're the one with the problem. I think the person mocking you behind closed doors, they have the problem. We are all called to preach the gospel. We all have an audience. If you're called to preach, stop waiting, stop sitting around hoping that somebody will someday call you on the cell phone or send you a text. I believe that God can do that. I believe that by his grace, he can supernaturally open doors for you. But don't sit around and wait when God's given you tools in your life to do it. If you know how to preach, if God's given you a message in your spirit and you have a cell phone or a computer or anything, you can stand on a street corner. You can go live on Facebook. You can go live on YouTube. You can go live on in every platform and preach the gospel to people that will never see you face to face. And at the end of your life, you'll stand before God and the fruit that you receive through these live streams, they'll be on your account. You'll stand before Jesus. 
And I don't know about you, but I want to stand before Jesus doing all that I could have done with what he has given me. I don't have much. I don't have much talent. I don't have much ability. I don't have much gifting. But I want to take everything that Jesus gave me and use it to preach the gospel. And the longer we sit around and wait and complain about how nobody's inviting us, nobody wants us to come preach. I'm just a young evangelist and nobody will open the door for me. The longer you sit around with that mentality, the longer you will sit around and have no opportunity and see no salvations, see no miracles, see no people saved. But if you take the tools that God gave you and just preach the gospel and forget about what anybody has to say about you, you will see fruit, you will see success, you will see growth. I remember when I thought about starting these live streams and posting videos online and all that, there is the thought that creeps into your mind that people are gonna laugh at you, people are gonna ridicule you, and that that natural human fear or natural human instinct in you is like, well, I don't wanna be laughed at, so I'm not gonna post anything. And even right now, I'm, I'm sure there would be people that would see this video and be like, oh, it's so unprofessional. He's sitting in a car. He doesn't have a nice background. He doesn't have nice lighting. At the end of the day, that doesn't matter. This is going to go to somebody. And people that want to nitpick everything that you do for the kingdom, they're wasting their time because they're so insecure and so afraid of actually doing anything. They want to sit around and nitpick everybody else and what they're trying to do. But you should do everything in your power to be effective with what God's given you. And then another thing, when people ask me, how do you see growth on social media? How do you see relationships develop to preach the gospel? How do, how do you get to know pastors? Apart from taking all that God's given you, such as a cell phone in your hand and a computer or whatever it is, if God's given you a voice and a, and a word to preach, just be faithful. Be faithful to serve a ministry. Be faithful to serve a church. Go to church every week. Do what you can. Serve the church in whatever capacity you can. If they ask you to preach, preach. If they ask you for help, help. Develop some sort of relationship and demonstrate yourself as a faithful servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. And God will begin to open doors for you. People will see that your heart is for the kingdom and not just for some platform. People will see that you have a genuine desire to serve Christ no matter what it looks like. And being faithful is probably one of the least valued characteristics in young people. They're so focused on trying to be successful, trying to go viral, trying to be this instantaneous whatever, success overnight. That they miss the idea of faithfulness where you learn so much about God when you just spend a year or a year and a half, two years being faithful to a ministry, being faithful as a servant of God, being faithful to your spiritual leaders. When you're living a life of faithfulness, you become more like Christ. Jesus came to serve, not to be served. You want to preach the gospel, but you won't serve anybody. You won't serve any ministry. You won't serve any spiritual authority. And you expect God to suddenly put you on some platform. It, I don't think that it would happen that way. I think serving in the kingdom is probably one of the most important things, apart from actually just using what God's given you. So if God's called you to preach the gospel, one, Use everything that he's given you to preach the gospel. Two, be faithful. And three, study. Study to show yourself approved. Preach the word. Everything should be centered around the word. Everything should be centered around the word. The word is what sets the captive free. The word is what brings the presence of Jesus Christ into reality. The word is what allows people to come to believe faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith will never arise in people if you don't preach the word. If you're always just preaching stories about your personal life, you're always sharing testimonies. Those are great things. And my pastor told me, uh, I think he said something like, 
your testimonies and your stories will fan the flame of faith, but the word brings the flame of faith. The word is what starts the fire. If God's called you to preach, then you have to preach the word. That's the weapon he's given you. Yes, I believe in visions and dreams and spiritual prophetic words and all of that. But at the end of the day, preach the word. The word's the most important thing. If you show yourself as a faithful servant of God, if you show yourself as somebody who preaches the word, if you show yourself as somebody who knows the word, people will notice. God will give you favor in the eyes of men. God will give you favor in the eyes of pastors, in the eyes of missionaries, in the eyes of evangelists. God will help you if you show yourself to be faithful in all that he's called you to do. If you preach the word, if you study the word, it's not, I think this is the best time to be alive. And like I said, I'm no expert. I'm just some guy. God's helped me. We've grown these channels. We've seen increase on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok. We've seen hundreds of thousands of people come to hear the gospel in some, some level. Uh, but I think this is the best time to be alive because we have so much opportunity. But everybody wants to stand on a platform and stage and hear the applause of the crowd and have a microphone in their hand and take cool pictures and act like some Christian superstar. But you have everything you need to preach the gospel. We are living in a day and age where I can go live on my phone at any moment and tell people about Jesus. I can tell them that Jesus loved them, that he died for their sins on the cross, that he was buried and God rose him from the grave that they may have new life in him. All they have to do is confess and believe, repent of their sin and turn to Christ. I have the option now in the hour that we're living in to go live at any moment of the day and tell people about Jesus. I don't have to wait until a pastor calls me. I don't have to wait until I have some big event planned. I can preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and so can you. God's given you the ability in this hour of time to be able to do that. And it's time that we take advantage of the hour that we're living in. It's time that you take advantage. If God's called you, take advantage. He's given you, he's prospered you to the point where you have a cell phone. Some of you watching this video are saying, I want to preach the gospel, but nobody will have me come preach. Well, you have a cell phone. You're watching this on a cell phone. You can go live. You can preach the gospel on your own page, on your own channel. You can start an Instagram. You can start a TikTok. You can start a YouTube. You can go stand on a street corner and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. But if you're called, uh, let me encourage you and tell you, do what God's called you to do. Don't wait. Don't worry about what people are thinking. Don't worry about how people are going to talk about you. But just do it. God will bless you. God will strengthen you. God will grow you. God will increase your influence. God will help you and teach you. He'll, he'll make you a better preacher the more that you preach. He'll help you to understand the move of the Holy Spirit the more that you step out in faith. Like even going live right now, part of me is in the natural. I'm like, oh man, I should just wait until I get home and set up and have a, a nice lighting and make a background look good and whatever. And I could look more professional instead of sitting in this car with a sweatshirt on. But... There are certain times when God's called you to do something and you just got to do it. And it may not make sense to anybody else, but if it makes sense to you, then do it. So let me just encourage you with that. I told you this wasn't going to be a, lot, a long live stream. I'm going to get off here now. But uh, if God's called you, preach the word. Be faithful. Use everything he's given you to, to use. This is a good hour to be alive. This is a good hour to be a preacher of the gospel. Take every opportunity God has given you and use it to glorify the name of Jesus Christ. Use it to plant the seed of the gospel in as many hearts possible.
There's people who go every, every day who go live on the internet to promote wickedness and ungodliness and sinful desires. Every day there's people who go live to do that. God's called you to preach. Why wait until somebody invites you to preach on a Sunday morning or a Friday night or a Saturday night? Why wait until you have a big outreach platform to preach the gospel? Every day there's people receiving seeds of wickedness. God's given you the ability to promote the gospel, to plant seeds of life into people, to plant the seed of Jesus Christ in the hearts of young men and young women, people all over the world, people that you'll never meet face to face. And the amazing thing is, I believe you will see the fruit on that day of judgment when you stand before Christ. But let today be the day where you say, I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm not going to put this aside any longer. I'm not going to just sit around and hope that somebody's going to invite me to preach. Let today be the day that you start your own thing, that you go live, that you start preaching on street corners, that you use every opportunity, that you begin to witness to people that God's put in your life for that reason. God's given you the voice. God's given you the word. Be faithful in what he's given you now, and then the increase will come. So let today be your day where you're just going to preach the word. You're not going to sit around any longer. But with all that said, my rant is over. God bless you guys. Thanks for joining in. May the Lord increase you. May he give you boldness and strength. May you see fruitfulness in the rest of this year. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Love you guys.